आंध्र प्रदेश राइस प्रोडक्शन टेक्नोलॉजी अबाउट दिस कोर्स दिस कोर्स कंटेन्स डिफरेंट एस्पेक्ट्स लाइक द नर्सरी मैनेजमेंट ऑफ राइस व्हिच इज द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट एंड क्रूशियल स्टेज ऑफ ग्रोथ द सब कंपोनेंट्स आर प्रिपरेशन फॉर नर्सरी बेड इंस्ट्रक्शंस फॉर रेजिंग अ हेल्दी नर्सरी organic fertilizers to be applied and seed rate and seed treatment the fertilizer management in the main field after transplanting is done fertilizer should be applied to keep the crop safe from nutritional pest and disease attack equally bio fertilizers also play an important role in enhancing the crop status and soil fertility the importance of nutrient management water management and weed management essential nutrients are very much necessary for proper crop growth rice is basically a water intensive crop and hence effective water management is very important weeds are a major threat to crop growth which should be managed properly at the right stage of the crop pests are the major threats to crop growth and have to be managed effectively it deals with various pests specific to andhra pradesh that damages the crop and reduce the yield the symptoms and control measures for every pest has been listed out the diseases that attack rice crop at different stages of crop growth the diseases that are more prominent in andhra pradesh are dealt in detail the harvesting of the crop at full grain stage the criteria for harvesting different methods of harvesting and problems in harvesting and the implements used for harvesting the crop etc module 1 nursery management overview this module deals about the nursery management aspects of rice which is the most important and crucial stage of growth the sub components of this module are preparation of nursery bed instructions for raising a healthy nursery organic fertilizers to be applied and seed rate and seed treatment objectives to learn the method of nursery bed preparation follow instructions for proper nursery management dosage of organic fertilizer to be applied seed rate and importance of seed treatment optimum stage of transplanting lesson 1 nursery bed preparation how is nursery bed prepared in the field the level field should be laid out in 10 meters length and 1 meter width area proper bunds should be made for preventing excess drainage of water the bunds should be equal and strong no waste material should be present in the nursery bed There should be 20 meter spacing between two beds. The bed should be smooth and leveled. Instructions for raising a healthy nursery. The nursery should be leveled 10 to 12 days before sowing. Proper channels should be made to drain excess water. For 5 cents of land, 2 kg nitrogen that is 1 kg before sowing and 1 kg at 12 to 14 DAS. 1 kg phosphorus and 1 kg potassium containing fertilizer should be applied in areas where temperature is low double the amount of phosphorus should be applied the sprouted seed should be broadcasted at 5 kg percent till the seedlings established properly six irrigation should be given and after which little amount of water can be retained in case of zinc deficiency 2 grams per liter zinc sulfate can be applied. Zinc deficiency symptoms are more prominent during Kharif season. Spray carbofuran 3g granules at the rate 160 gram per cent at 10 DAS or monocrotophus 1.6 ml or chloropyrifos 2 ml at 10 DAS and 17 DAS or spray carbofuran 3g granules at the rate 160 grams per cent with low concentration at 7 days before transplanting pinching of the tips can reduce the incidence of pests in the nursery as the adult lays the eggs on the tips of the panicle lesson 2 organic fertilizers when and why organic fertilizers should be applied to the soil during nursery bed preparation 
before summer ploughing, 5 to 10 tons per hectare of farmyard manure has to be applied to the field. To raise the nursery bed, a one-tenth part of the field should be selected. The selected field should be thoroughly ploughed by drenching with 5 to 10 centimetres of water. After ploughing the hard soil, clods should be levelled. The field should be kept weed-free after land levelling. Seed rate For direct sowing, 20 to 25 kg per hectare. For broadcasting, dry land, 24 to 30 kg per hectare. For broadcasting Godavari districts, 16 to 20 kg per hectare. For rain-fed paddy, 30 to 36 kg per hectare. SRI cultivation, 2 kg per hectare. Seed testing and treatment. Mix 2.5 gram carbon dazim with 1 kg seed and after 24 hours broadcast in the nursery bed. For raised bed nursery, mix carbon dazim at the rate 1 gram per litre of water. Soak the seeds for 24 hours and sprouted seeds should be broadcasted. Mix 1.5 kg salt per litre of water and soak the seeds in the solution. The ones that float should be discarded while the bottom settled seed should be selected for sowing in the nursery bed. Before broadcasting the seeds in the nursery bed, they should be soaked in clean water for 24 hours and then sown. Seed borne diseases can be prevented by treating with theram or captan at 3 gram per kg seed. Soak the sprouted seeds in 0.2% chlorpyrifos before sowing so as to prevent the attack of leaf-eating caterpillar and paddy stem borer. Lesson 3. Transplanting Prior to transplanting, the seedlings in the main field should be prepared. This is done as follows. Main field should be level 15 days before transplanting. The field should be leveled properly. While transplanting in the main field, the seedlings should be young and healthy green color. Four to six leaved seedlings are preferred for transplanting in the main field. Matured seedlings will reduce the yield if transplanted in the main field. If the seedlings are transplanted on the surface, there are chances of more panicle formation. For every two meter area, there should be a channel of 20 centimeters width so as to ensure proper aeration and light exposure, which in turn reduces pest incidence. The channels would be useful to observe the crop growth before application of fertilizers, pesticides and weedicides. Depending on the variety and duration, the number of seedlings per hill should be decided. Soil fertility should be checked and the number of seedlings per hill should be planned. When matured seedlings are transplanted, they should be planted closely at about 4 to 5 seedlings. Nitrogen can be applied in two split doses that is, 70% at the time of land preparation and 30% during flowering stage for matured seedlings.